Okay, which of the internet giants is gonna conquer the 5G iteration of the internet, okay? Um, this is a really interesting subject. 5G rolls out in 2020. The promise is that um, broadband speeds will be 100 times faster, 100 times faster, dramatically faster, okay? So just before we start jumping into the future and predicting what's gonna happen there, let's have a look at the past. Let's have a look at the last two iterations of the Gs. So the 3G internet was the birth of the smartphone. And um, so all the information in the world was essentially accessible to us all in our pocket. Um, so the two internet giants that really prevailed in that iteration of the internet were Apple, who invented the most popular device, and Google, um, who was our window to the World Wide Web we could now access anytime, anywhere. 4G internet came along, um, internet speeds ramped up, mobile internet speeds ramped up, and there was dramatic uh, implications here for e-commerce and online video. And as a consequence, the two internet giants that really leapt to the forefront or experienced the most growth during the 4G internet were Amazon and Facebook. And this is where we are now, we had these four companies, um, are, you know, four of the biggest companies on, on planet Earth um, as a result of 3G and 4G iterations of the internet. So what's gonna happen next in this 100 times faster 5G internet? Really, really interesting, okay? So first of all, let's define what the predictions are around 5G. So most of the, the, the people are talking about the internet of things, okay? So what's gonna happen when we've got 100 times more internet uh, speed available to us, is we won't just have one device in our body, but we'll actually be interacting with a solar system of connected devices everywhere we go. We'll live in a smart home, we'll travel in a smart car, we'll go to a smart workplace, which is probably in a smart city. Um, so what exactly does smart mean? So there's two components of smart for me. One is it's always connected to, to, to the internet and to the other devices. And number two is artificial intelligence, okay? It's artificial intelligence enabled. So I'll come back to that point um, shortly. So right now for me, there's two of the internet giants doing so much better than any of the others when it comes to smart devices, when it comes to the internet of things. And therefore, these are the two I'd pick to really dominate the 5G iteration of the internet. And those two are Google and Amazon, okay? If you look at hardware, and um, the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa have both shipped more than tens of millions of devices each. And perhaps the bigger opportunity is software. Um, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa are really far superior than Siri or, or, or any of the other alternatives. And the amazing thing about, and for example, with Alexa, any device that has a mic, that has a speaker, and is connected to the internet can actually run Alexa. And um, so you can see Amazon want all your connected devices to be running Alexa, therefore they control your IoT solar system. So of the two, I think there's one that has, for me, an unassailable, unfair advantage when it comes to dominating um, our, our, our future smart world, okay? Um, so I mentioned that there's two components of smart, connected and artificial intelligence. And for me, the person who does the best uh, offering on artificial intelligence, the battle is won. Um, they're the ones who are most likely to guide us through our optimized lives, uh, 5G lives. So while, and the way the artificial intelligence, the most important part of artificial intelligence these days is machine learning. So machine learning is very simple. It's like the intelligence is watching, it's lots of data, if this, then that, and it's learning. Um, oftentimes it's watching humans interact with data and learning from how they, how they interact. So who's got the best data? Who's got the biggest data to make the best AI? Amazon have fantastic data on our shopping behavior, okay? But Google's data goes so much further than that. Google have data on everything we do. Um, and there's a theory out there that Google never even intended on being um, a search engine business. The big play was always to be a machine, uh, machine learning business. So let me just explain that to you, okay? So Google's stated mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible to everybody, okay? I believe Google's secret mission um, is to organize the world's information, make it universally accessible to everybody, but then measure all of humanity's interactions with that information. That's how machine learning learns. So I think Google are positioned to have unassailable lead when it comes to the intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence through machine learning, and I think they're gonna dominate and conquer uh, the 5G internet.
So that's today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I'll be on the hashtag WolfgangBites for the next few days. Looking forward to interacting with you. Uh, hope to see you there. Bye bye.